Muy buenas a todos, soy Ángelo y os doy la bienvenida a un nuevo capítulo de The Cat Lady. Bueno, estamos en el piso del ojo de Dan. A ver, pecera, examinar. No me gusta cómo se ve esa agua, no hay ni un pez en la pecera. Bueno, es el padre del ojo de Dan. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mamá died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Nos da una caja. A ver, tomar caja. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? A ver, caja. Es una caja de zapatos. Una máscara de gas. Oh god. Mitzi, we have to get out of here quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. No, esto para eso era la pecera, para meter el veneno. Too late. Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam. You're going to kill your father. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I. No. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm 
dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Vale, aquí hay dos finales diferentes. Según, nos, según le demos la máscara a Mitzi o nos pongamos la máscara a nosotros. Ahora vamos a hacer los dos finales de Mitzi y vamos a darle la máscara a Mitzi. Vale, dar la máscara a Mitzi. No. You've got a date and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it. Corriendo aquí con el con el gas venenoso. Estamos aquí con otra vez en el campo. Este era el campo de trigo donde vivía la... La reina de los gusanos. Esto parece que es la casa de... Sí, la casa de Mitzi. Bueno, casa de Susan. Y aquí estamos con ella. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, bueno, durante... Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Bueno, cada... And that's it. Cada vez que veníamos aquí teníamos que apagar una vela. Blow out the last candle. Y una And persona en una parte del mundo moría. Again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they'd chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch. 
bueno, lo que hacía la reina de los de los gusanos era alimentarse de su tristeza. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Bueno, vamos a de vamos a rechazar lo de la vela. Rehusarse. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes. You'll be gone. Blow out no, no vamos a soltar. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Bueno, hemos vuelto sin soplar la vela. Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Bueno, vamos a hablar con Adam. Voy a guardar un momento. Vale, vamos a hablar con Adam. Una sala de ordenadores y toda esta gente que está en la foto, ¿quiénes son? Es un tetraplégico. You're, you're the eye of Adam. A pathetic wheelchair-bound invalid. Is this a joke? Do you, do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? Y esa pistola. You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. 
Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Bueno, toda esta locura del ojo de Dan lo hizo. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. Lo hizo esta cosa. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm going to shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? Veis a la pantalla. Nos vemos al fin. I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole eye of Adam thing. Lo controla todo con el ojo. He really is just the eye. But no, that doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Va a escribir algo. Hazlo. Quiere que le dispare. What? You arrogant shit. I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why did you make Jack kill himself? A ver qué nos dice. Aprieta el gatillo y lo encontrarás. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? A ver. Vale, aquí hay. Con Mitzi hay dos finales. Un final es. Eligiendo la primera opción. Y la segunda. Y el segundo final, eligiendo la segunda opción.
Vamos a coger primero la segunda opción. Me mentiste, nunca dijiste que querías matarlo. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Ahora, ahora la, la última opción. Piénsalo un momento. ¿De verdad ya quería esto? Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? He... This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will. Bueno, ahora la tercera opción. Sin su padre es inofensivo. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. Quiere que muramos todos, ¿acaso no lo ves? He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Es un troll. Remember what you said about feeding the troll? Hay que, no hay That's que exactly al troll. what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, matarlo, is it? Siquiera. What? What about your mother? Your family. She's dead. Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead. Yeah, happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. A mí me importa, hazlo por mí. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day.
It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life. Bueno, al final el ojo de Adam se queda ahí muriendo poco a poco. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. I'll never forget those la muerte de Mitzi de, de su enfermedad. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? her laptop the night after the funeral and there it was a friend request over a year old a little gift from behind the grave I met some people we go out sometimes and I'm not alone anymore it turned out there were others who felt like I did I talked to them tried to help Y bueno, al menos el Susan se, re se recuperó de su depresión. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Bueno, puede que vuelva la enfermedad, pero al menos estaremos preparados. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. It's fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Y era para elegir el segundo final. Hay que decirle 
Mira estos tanques de oxígeno, no creo que sea buena idea. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. Gases inflamables. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Es que directamente no merece la pena. Vale, está bien, mátalo. Fine. Kill him. This is from Jack. Hola. Bueno, el ojo de Adam ha salido volando por la ventana. Pero supongo que con la explosión se habrá llevado por delante a Mitzi. It's me again talking about my ordinary little life as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. She made a terrible mistake by letting her hatred take over. Whatever time she had left, she lost it right there when she pulled the trigger. It was Adam's final victory. He wanted to die, after all. But he also managed to take one more soul with him. I was lucky, for once. Hardly even got injured. The explosion just swept me out of that room, and I stayed alive. I wish I was able to stop Mitzi, to talk her out of it, but I didn't. I'm not sure if I'm more angry with her for firing that gun, or with myself for failing to save her. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop six months later. And there it was, a friend request. Something I forgot about a long time ago. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. Bueno, al final Adam muere, pero se lleva por delante a, a Mitzi, que era precisamente lo que quería. Ha conseguido hacer que Mitzi también se suicidara, bueno, o se sacrifique para matar a Adam. Y como total, Adam era un paralítico que no tenía nada, nada que perder. I must confess. Yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today. Susan ya se ha recuperado de la depresión. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. 
Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me, asleep, waiting, and when it will hit me, me it will hit me hard. Por lo menos fijaos en el detalle que cuando estábamos con la depresión al principio del juego, todo el juego era o era de noche o nublado o lloviendo. Ahora que nos hemos recuperado sale el sol y el cielo está despejado. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Y bueno, hasta aquí el primer final del juego. Bueno, los dos primeros finales. Que son los dos finales de Mitzi. Los dos finales de al darle la máscara de gas a Mitzi. Y luego al elegir si queremos matar al ojo de Adán. O dejarlo ahí que... O simplemente dejarlo ahí que se pudra hasta que... Hasta que se vaya muriendo poco. Bueno, digamos, el final bueno. El final bueno es el de dejar vivir a Dan y que se vaya pudriendo en un asilo. Y el final malo es matar a Dan y que Mitzi se suicide sacrificándose. Que es precisamente lo que quería Dan. Pues bueno, dejamos aquí el... Ya después de este capítulo, el próximo vídeo será los finales con Susan. Que ahora mismo no sé si son. si es un final o dos finales. Lo tendré que mirar y a ver qué. para ver lo que es. Y bueno, después de los créditos. Bueno, vamos, a vamos a ir dejando pasar los créditos y al final dejaremos el vídeo. que lo pero ahora que lo pienso y hago una reflexión sobre este sobre este juego aún no entiendo cómo es que de tan bueno que es este juego que tiene una gran historia que es un juego muy muy interesante tenga tan pocas ventas y tan poco y tanta poca publicidad prácticamente poca gente ha hablado de este juego no no sé no solo conoce mucho era es un super un super ventas simplemente tiene su nicho de fans y a partir de ahí poca cosa más bueno sacado las fuentes de free sound Ya presiona cualquier cualquier tecla para vivir. Bueno, ahora si pulsamos una tecla, nos llevará otra vez al escritorio donde podremos salir del juego. Pues bueno, dejamos el vídeo aquí y en el próximo episodio haremos los dos finales o el final con Susan. Pues bien, si os ha gustado el vídeo, dadle like, 
suscribiros si no lo habéis hecho y nos vemos en el siguiente episodio. Adiós.